In this video, we will learn more about the Altium Designers Layer Stack Manager's built-in materials library and how to add new materials and use it in our board stack. We will also look at how we can save the user materials to an XML format. The board stack in Altium Designer is configured using the Layer Stack Manager. Here we can use the predefined materials from the built-in materials library. So let's change the dielectric material in a layer stack. Click on the ellipse button in the material cell and select the desired material from the library. If necessary, we can also add custom materials to this library using the Tools Material Library menu. The column on the left shows the categories of materials that are available, such as surface finish, copper foil, dielectric, surface layer materials and printed electronics. After selecting a category, the materials and their properties are displayed in the table on the right. If preferred, the order of the columns can be rearranged using the gear icon. From the settings, we can control the order and visibility of the columns. If needed, it is also possible to add a column for custom parameters. For a new parameter to be available for selection, you must give it a name and enable it for visibility. We can also add new custom materials to the library by selecting the new button option at the bottom of the table. For a new material, it is important to add information to the highlighted fields. Some of these parameters will be used to calculate the impedance profiles for transmission lines. If you do add new material to the library, it is advisable to obtain the technical specifications from the material suppliers. After adding or updating the parameters, you must select Update. The material will now be available to use in the layer stack. Let's choose the new material just created and chain the dielectric for our circuit board. When selecting material for the layer stack, its properties are displayed in the properties panel and if required can be chained manually. The properties panel has a check mark for library compliance. This allows you to check the compliance of the parameters with the values in the library. If an exclamation mark appears, this indicates the parameter does not correspond to the library value. To clear this violation, the parameter can be updated by reselecting and updating it from the library. The material library can also be saved as an XML format using the Save option. This can be then shared and used by colleagues in your organization using the Load option. 